India and China have initiated the disengagement of troops at key friction points in eastern Ladakh, Stemchuk and Dipsang plains with completion expected by October 28-29. This breakthrough achieved through diplomatic and military negotiations marks a crucial step toward easing the four-year standoff along the line of actual control. Following disengagement, patrolling will resume at these areas and troop positions will gradually return to the pre-2020 status. Northern Army Commander Lieutenant General N.V. Suchindra Kumar highlighted the mutual progress, underscoring agreements on patrolling rights and grazing access in traditional zones. The move signals renewed stability and cooperation between India and China in sensitive border regions. Hundreds gathered at Lee's iconic polo ground today to welcome climate activist Sonam Wangchuk and volunteers from Delhi Chalo Padyatra as they returned to Ladakh, marking the conclusion of the remarkable march to raise awareness for Ladakh's autonomy and democratic rights. Organized by the Lee Apex body, the event reflected a strong local commitment to self-governance. Co-chairman Shering Dorje Lakrook praised Wangchuk and the Patyatris for their determination, stating the march reignited hope for constructed dialogue after stalled discussions. With the government now committed to resuming talks on December 3, the Patyatra success underscores Ladakh's dedication to cultural preservation and political representation with Wangchuk's adherence to non-violence resonating nationally and beyond. Member of Parliament Mohammad Hanifa Jan held a meeting with Lieutenant Governor Brigadier B.D. Mishra to discuss vital issues impacting the area. The focus was on boundary demarcation for the newly announced districts and an ongoing boundary dispute with Himachal Pradesh. MP Jan pushed for fair recruitment for gazetted posts and the creation of local jobs to benefit Ladakhi youth. The meeting also touched on expanding civil aviation infrastructure, specifically Kargil Airport, improving health services and advancing educational facilities across Ladakh. In a strategic boost for national defense and border infrastructure, Atul Kumar Agarwal, BSM, Additional Director General Border Roads, conducted a high-level inspection of critical and projects along the line of actual control in eastern Ladakh. Joined by Brigadier Vishal Srivastava and Senior Task Force Commanders, ADG Agarwal reviewed vital road works at Durbuk and the Hanley Complex, underscoring the importance of timely project completion. Additionally, he addressed environmental concerns promoting marmot conservation through awareness signboards. The ADG's tour included a review of the advanced landing ground at Mutneoma, soon to become the world's highest. Engaging with local communities, ADG Agarwal highlighted BRO's commitment to regional development, aiming to enhance both connectivity and security along India's border. In Ladakh, the committee evaluating the establishment of five new districts continued its tour, visiting Neoma Block on Friday. Led by Chairman Pramod Kumar Jain IS, the committee engaged with leaders and residents at Neoma Community Hall to hear their views on making Neoma the district headquarters. Community members passionately advocated for Neoma, citing its historical and strategic importance as a central hub for Changtang. A memorandum with 28 signatures was presented, underscoring Neoma's significance. Chairman Jan assured that all input would be thoroughly reviewed as the committee's assessment progresses. In a major bid to enhance telecommunications in Kargil, a delegation from Indus Towers Limited recently met with Dr. Mohammad Zafar Akhun, Chairman and Chief Executive Counselor of the LASDC Kargil. The delegation, which included and Circle IA lead Vikram Parihar discussed the urgent need for new telecommunications towers across the district. Local councillor Mohammed Amin of the Poin constituency also participated in the discussions, emphasizing the pressing connectivity needs of local communities. Dr. Akhun directed in the towers to prioritize infrastructure upgrades in key locations, including Barsu Block, Dras, and Miramark.